Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Today I just want to make this video uh, mainly about the possible shitstorm happening in altcoins. Um, but I'll get to that in a minute. I'm just going to talk briefly about Tether. Um, you, you, everybody knows the situation on Tether and Bitfinex. Um, Tether crashed a little bit the other day, lost about 5%, which is, which is a pretty big crash. Um, there, there's potentially a whole lot worse for this at some point in the future. However, I, I don't fully believe it's now. But in saying that, I, I think everybody should protect themselves as best they can. Maybe don't hold everything in Tether. Don't hold too much in Tether. Uh, just in case, because nobody knows the future. But I just want to talk about the price action more uh, in this. It's not really a fundamental video. You can see here, every time Tether has ever had a dump, Maybe I, uh, I'll actually move this to a three day chart, which I should have done uh, previously. But uh, you can see every time that we've had a dump, it's never really been straightforward. It's never just really gone down and back up. I mean, it goes down, back up, and then maybe back down again. You can see here it goes down, back up, and maybe down again. You know, there is a, a little space between these two. But what I'm saying is, don't expect this to be the end of the dump. Protect yourself and, uh, you know, just just uh, maybe hold some of your money that you're not using in packs or, or whatever. And you can see here, this one actually did go straight down, but we had a massive dump, this 10% dump, you know, and then we, we did come right back up. So are we going to get the similar situation? You know, it is possible because, you know, Bitfinex could come out and kind of resolve and find their money again or, or something, you know, and, and this might shoot back up. But it's just a warning sign, guys. Um, usually, once it breaks, you can see here the first one broke, came back up, broke again, came back up, broke down again, and it happened all through it here. So, if you get the chance, just protect yourself. That's that's all I can say on it, really, because this is unlikely to be the last of the of the dips and stuff. And who knows, it could get a lot worse. Anyway, uh, moving on here. Uh, I made a video the other day and I said about this head and shoulders potential pattern. Also the bull flag breaking about above all moving averages and potentially a target, a crazy target. Now I know it's so, it, 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 even to me it seems crazy but the markets uh, never cease to amaze me. But anyway the target is up here at 80 to 90 dollars on this and that, this would mean that all coins are basically going to get crushed for the next few months. Is that going to happen or not? I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 you know, let me, let me just show you one little thing. Um, like even, even this pattern here, and that is the, the ball flag, the pole, as you would call it. So if, if you just put that there, um, you, you can see this quite a, quite a substantial move up. Now, this is the move that we got from April. Um, start of May until September, May, May, June, July, August, September. I mean, that's a four month move. And we, we moved right up here to, uh, well, it would be similar to the same move, but you can see it was a straight move. There was no, there's no uh, corrections or dips or anything. It was just a straight move. I am not saying we're going to get that, but I'm just showing the potential of, of this, this pattern. Um, and it would, like, you know, possibly indicate if the similar thing was going to happen, it would indicate that we have a few months of downside on altcoins. So we need to be careful, in my opinion, until we see a real rejection, maybe at these highs. Everybody needs to be, have their eyes glued to the dominance chart. It's the most important chart, in my opinion, right now. Um, I mean, other than Bitcoin itself, but the dominance chart is so important. We need to be looking for a rejection up here at the highs. Now, I personally think we'll get through that, but uh we just have to see how it goes so i advise everybody to keep a good eye for a rejection and maybe we'll look for a long entry in alts because they're obviously very oversold just going to keep moving on here now bitcoin i mean bitcoin is one of the stronger coins in the market there's no question about it people want to say bnb and all the rest and yes they are strong but uh you you have to consider this a strong coin right now this it, it looks good and it looks exactly like it did before 
um, last month when I says we need to see on a new month if Litecoin is going to open up and use this, the moving averages as springboards. Now, Bitcoin is in the exact same scenario, and we need to see if Bitcoin is going to hold the yellow 9 EMA and use that as a springboard to push price higher. Now, what nobody has been talking about, and it's very uh, interesting uh, that I've not seen really anybody talk about it, but it's just, just a simple, uh, I'm not even drawing this pretty correctly, but I just want to show you, it's a round and bottom. And we also have a round and bottom in Litecoin, bar this wick, but it's, it's generally a round and bottom on the monthly chart. So, and nobody's really talked about that. And round and bottoms are quite powerful. Um, so there is the potential here. You cannot rule Bitcoin out that it's going to go higher here. And I'm, I'm at the moment, I'm favoring the upside. Can there be a small dip? Of course, yes. But until I see that real rejection, I mean, I, I have to be a uh, little bit leaning to the bullish side. We have a weekly, a bearish weekly candle last week, which indicates that we should get some downside. Um, but overall, in the next month, you know, the possibility of going higher is, is still there. So we just can't rule that out. And I'll talk about Litecoin now down here. This rejection is insane. And it, it does indicate there should be more, some more downside. So um, we just can't rule that out right now. I did make a video saying Litecoin is going to go back to the highs up here and it hit 110 roughly. Now the dip was too powerful and I'm probably wrong on that for now. Uh, I do think wherever we get that rejection or maybe maybe price will come down into the moving averages or whatever down to the $60 level, um, I think we will get that bounce then possibly and maybe get a retrace, at least 50% retrace up here. So we can bounce up to $80, $85 at least at some point when this finds its bottom. Now, I want to just brought up XRP because of the round and top. Now, this is, this is what I'm saying. Bitcoin, you can see the round and bottom. Uh, Litecoin's got a round and bottom, which exploded on up past it. You can see the round and bottom is very powerful. And on Bitcoin too, we're in the process of it and potentially moving higher. Now, XRP is a round and bottom, and a round and top, sorry. And it looks like it's just going to go lower, to be honest. This monthly candle is terrible. Now, don't get me wrong, um, th there will be some sort of bounce maybe at the start of this month. and uh, But in my opinion, it'll roll over and, and go to new lows. Um, I just, there's one coin that I forgot. Um, BNB BTC. So there's a lot of people worried about Tether right now. And BNB BTC. A lot of people uh, look to that for a safe haven and all the rest. Now, this is potentially a topping candle, guys. It's it's not exactly a topping candle. It's it's more complicated than that. But what it is, is it's a sign of indecision. In a weak market, this will be a topping candle and we will break down. So if this dominance is going to continue, there is a chance that the, this is a topping candle and we can reject and move back to the down to the downside and first test the lows and then you know possibly on down but um for right now we have to be cautious of bnb um in my opinion now the other end of the spectrum is if somehow we get a a recovery next month and a rejection to the downside this can open up with not much downside and basically start moving higher again so we need to be aware of that uh, early in the month. We need to try and figure out the trend very early in the month if it's going up or going down. You can see BNB here. It does not. It likes to trend. The dips in BNB are very small. You want to make this bigger so everybody can see it. If BNB moves higher, notice this. If BNB moves higher, it moves higher straight away. The wicks below are very small. So the, the wicks small move up. A little bit of a wick on this, but it turned trend and it went straight up. Same here, same here, and uh, no wick here, tiny wick here, no wick here, and no wick here. So guys, BNB likes to trend, and uh, it's a trending coin, as you can see. We've, we've been uptrending, and these uptrends are strong. So if we are going to move to the upside, I do not expect much downside, and then we will continue to the upside. 
and we can look to use trade the open strategy on a monthly basis on BNB depending on the direction. So we need to figure that out in our Discord group and uh, hopefully we can catch a big move in BNB this month. Um, okay, XLM. This is a is a bad rejection. There's no question about it. Uh, rejected off the moving averages. Monthly 9 EMA and the monthly 20 EMA, which is a very bad rejection. Um, to me, it looks like it, this is going to roll over and continue lower. Probably go to new lows, uh, to be honest. It doesn't really look like anything else at the moment until we see anything else. Notice the volume here is... Uh, I'm not even on a great chart, uh, but tricks, whatever, but there's not much volume here anymore um i'm sure there's a bad chart for volume but in my opinion this should go to new lows so i i wouldn't be looking to buy long term I trade this for bounces yes but uh it's not a long term buy yet ada um you can see here terrible monthly candles terrible rejection back below the moving averages potential to roll over and even maybe go to new lows we have to see how this develops but the lows are not in my opinion and it'll go lower next month. Uh, you can see here, last time we had a big rejection and broke below the moving averages, it, it continued, continued the trend and we cannot uh, dis discount that or dis discredit that idea yet. Um, we could trend lower for a few months, we just do not know. Now, I did believe we were in a bottoming process and we still could be. Um, but this monthly candle is a warning sign and the same as all other all coins. It's a big warning sign that we need to be careful until we see that rejection to the upside or it rejects to the downside and starts to move higher. Um, but for now, I expect a small bounce start of the month maybe and then probably go lower. EOS. EOS is one of the stronger coins. Um, it's like light, light, light coin, but it, it's had a bad rejection. And you can see here we're, we're almost closing below the monthly moving average but it's exactly like litecoin we need to see how this opens up um it's got potential to to move higher if bitcoin's moving higher this is the dollar chart by the way um if bitcoin moves higher this will probably move higher with it so and this will hold these moving averages maybe open up and use these moving averages as a springboard to move higher with Bitcoin, if Bitcoin moves higher, if Bitcoin rejects, you know this will reject. So we have to see and watch carefully and closely to see if the nine monthly EMA will hold. Uh, Neo, okay, uh, Neo is looking terrible right now, going to new lows. Um, I've actually got, I didn't know I had that there. Um, I've got most of that there, weeks and weeks months maybe i'm not sure but uh it's a it's an alert to look to buy at a double bottom but i'm not buying this on double bottom this is going way lower um to me it just looks really weak i don't see much upside yet we will look for a double bottom if it gets down here and look at that area see how it reacts but this is a bad rejection of the monthly moving averages and um the the 20 ema is nowhere near price in my opinion this can go a lot lower so I, w I wouldn't be investing in Neo. I would use it as a trading vehicle. So that's it, guys, uh, for the video. Just a quick update. Well, I'll say quick 13 minutes. Time runs on when you're trying to explain through things. Um, waffling a little bit. But uh, that's that's part of the game. And uh, things are a bit rough out there right, uh, right now at the moment, guys. So protect your capital. And, um, you know, look, look after, if you've got money on Tether, look after that. Do not think that the um, things will get rosy and it'll all blow over. You just got to be careful and protect yourself. So anyway, guys, if uh, you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, you can hit us up on on, on Facebook or Crypto Check Facebook page for a two-day free trial on our Discord group. Uh, we have a lot of good traders and investors in there, very intelligent people. So the, um, I think you'll enjoy the group if you're into the trading and investing. So. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel as well and uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching.